syndicated columnist Charles Krauthammer about all this. And Charles, let's start with uh, Mike Flynn, his lawyer seeking immunity for any testimony before Congress of the FBI, and then Donald Trump's tweet saying that's exactly the right thing to do, seek immunity. Where does that take this case? Well, it, it's not going to depend on the Trump tweet, although I think it's not a very good idea for the president to inject himself into this. It's not going to help. Uh, the, the, I think the fact is very simple. If the FBI or any of the committees think that uh, Flynn can deliver Trump, they will grant him immunity. There's no reason to think he will. If it's just protecting himself, I think they won't be interested in granting him immunity. In other words, he's only useful to the extent that he gets the big fish. That's how it is in all of these investigations. So I think this has to do with Flynn's own exposure, not having registered as an agent of the Turkish government. Perhaps some dealings with the Russians that predate his involvement in the Trump campaign that we don't know about. I suspect it's personal stuff, it's not campaign stuff, and it's not going to help the investigation of Russian tampering. Then we've got the White House offering, and today Devin Nunes, the uh, uh, I'm sorry, Adam Schiff, the top Democrat on the House uh, Intel Committee, as we saw, taking them up on their offer to go to the White House, to the NSC, to see the intelligence that Devin Nunes got to see. But that only happened after the New York Times reported that, in fact, it was the NSC that gave Devin Nunes the information in the first place. Look, the tick-tock on the history of this is disturbing and puzzling. But in the end, all that matters is what Schiff says that he saw. Is he going to come out, and I suppose over the weekend he'll be on the shows, will he come out and say, there is stuff here that's troubling, there appears to have been some improper unmasking and improper spreading of this intelligence, or will he say that there's nothing here? That to me is what's important, and I find it really childish for the two sides to be arguing your issue is a distraction. Only my issue counts. There are two charges here. One, that the Trump campaign colluded with the Russians, and the other is that the Obama administration misused intelligence information. Why is one a distraction from the other? Why can't somebody stand up and say, they're, they're both legitimate issues. We need to investigate the both. There's this, there's this implication, particularly in the media, that unless you're talking about the alleged collusion, all you're doing is distracting. Is not the unmasking of Americans a real issue? Of course it is. And if this were the only issue, the, the media would be all over it. I, I want to pick up on exactly that issue because you've, you've been talking about it for a while and I know you're troubled and it Look, you should be. It would, if it's true, be a crime. The unmasking uh, of American officials swept up in intelligence gathering. The New York Times reports today, and you can take it or leave it, but they report today that the, most of the unmasking, the great part of it, was uh, foreign ambassadors or foreign officials talking amongst themselves about having contacts, trying to develop relationships with members of the Trump transition, and that if you read it, you could kind of guess which Trump official they wanted to develop a relationship with, perfectly innocent, perfectly normal relationship with a new administration. If that's all this is, is the unmasking such a big deal? Well, it depends what the content is. If you have one ambassador saying to another that an important person in the White House pre prefers macaroni and cheese over steak, that's not important. If you have him saying that this person in the White House wants to work out a deal, uh, with the uh, the Russians over Syria or whatever, or has been collaborating in some way with the Russians or with others, that's real. Look, the reason we've been having these arguments that are circular, we've been chasing our tails on this for three weeks, is let's be honest about this. We don't know a damn thing about no, that's what's exactly really right. happening. There are stories that are coming out every day. Everybody who's giving them out, particularly the ones in the intelligence community are trained to lie. So un until this is all over and we hear the testimony, we have no idea. The infamous Hall of Mirrors. Charles, thank you. Have a good